Hi guys, it's Sam from Creatively Sam's. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you stopped by. Today's project is Teddy Bear Banks. These are the little wooden banks that I got on my Michaels haul. Um, they were in the little baskets towards the registers and they were only 97 cents a piece. So I painted them up and I gave them adorable little faces and they are all ready for the kids. And hopefully we're going to teach them how to start saving some money. So if you want to see how I did this, stay tuned. It's coming up next. You might remember um, these little teddy bear banks that I got from my um, last Michaels haul. And what I've decided to do is one's going to be for my grandson and one's for his big sister. So I got blue cotton, which is a very, very pale blue, and blue bonnet, which is slightly darker. And for little Lily, I've got cameo pink and valentine pink and you can see they're two different shades and then I've got of course I've always got the black and white for the eyes okay the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the bears in the pale shade of the color and after I get done with that I'm going to do the sides the little bank apart in the darker shade and I'll be back when that's done okay I've got the light shade on and one of the easiest ways that I know to cut in um, in a corner is to use a really good angled brush. I got this set at Walmart and I'll tell you what they are some of the nicest brushes I've ever had as far as angle goes. As you can see I'm just letting the tip of the brush do the work. There's no taping off It just went right in there, real nice. All right, I'm gonna finish doing that all, and then we can get started on the rest of it. And you can see I got the pink one done already. Okay, with the darker shade, and a small paintbrush, I'm going to make circles. And then I'm going to use a detail brush which is making the bottom of his foot. 
And I'm going to repeat the same thing on the other side, and then the pink one, I'll be doing the dark pink. Okay, now with some black, I'm going to put a couple of ovals right above the circle. And I'm not quite sure um, how big I'm going to make these. But I'm just going to keep playing until I get them the size that I want them. And I'm going to put a little oval right here. And with the detail brush, I'm going to come down here in the center. I'm going to give him a little smiley face. And with a toothpick and some white paint, give him the directional dots. And on the bottom, I'm going to put their names on it. And tomorrow I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to give it a spray of um, clear paint and put the uh, plug back in the bottom and put some coins in it for them and get them started on saving some money. I used um, the Rust-Oleum 2 times Ultra Cover Gloss Clear. I like this um, for regular crafting. For the um, special stuff, I usually use triple thick. But, um, yeah, the Rust-Oleum works very well. And they're all done. And I'm going to try and fit these back in there. And it was a tight fit to begin with. Oh yeah. It's not something the little fingers are going to be taken out too easily. Get some coins in there. And I have a tendency to save change. I would like to teach the kids this too. Um, I would uh, never spend a quarter. I would always break a dollar and put all of the change in my little banks. Um, I actually got my crystal chandelier by saving um, change and I got uh, my Dyson sweeper and it's like a savings account that you don't even see so if I can teach the kids how to do this uh, I think they're on their way to 
becoming responsible adults. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and happy creating everyone.